How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of the Regen Dream Team career mode series and this will be the 12th episode of the series and it will also be the season finale as well. If we can get this video to over 75 likes then I know you guys want to see a second season of this career mode. Although having said that I may do an accelerated version of the career mode which basically is just me showing you the big games, the end of season games in season 2 and with all the FIFA 17 news coming out I think that's what I'm going to be doing. We're going to be doing a second season if that's what you guys want but we will be doing an accelerated version just so it stays interesting and it doesn't get too stale. The three games that we will be playing in this episode are firstly against Everton in the FA Cup semi-finals and we're also going to be playing this Champions League semi-final ties both of them against Barcelona. I'm probably just going to skip out the Premier League games because I think it's pretty much certain that we've already won the Premier League. We've only five games or so to go in the Premier League we're eight points ahead of Chelsea in second so I think it's fair to say that we've already won the league but with that all said and done let's get into the first game of the episode it will be up against Everton in the semi-finals of the FA Cup and since I do want to win some additional silverware on top of the Premier League and potentially the Champions League as well I do want to go with a strong side for this game it's the usual lineup that we've been going with in these big games so let's hope that it can do us justice in this one and if we do end up getting through to the final we're going to be facing up against Man City and I think that was that was sort of expected they weren't gonna lose to Brighton and if we go through to the next round into the final I think we're gonna have our work cut out trying to beat Man City Everton on the other hand might be too much of a challenge for us they've got some really really good young players in there from their initial lineup from the start of career mode and they've also signed players like Marquinhos Correa up front and they've got Martial I think that is on the left mid position we try and cut inside it's brilliant work and again, we'll play this one forward. And can we score with Tevez? No, we can't. It's a great save by Diallo in there. It's a really good smart save there by the Everton keeper. But we'll get this cross into the middle now. And it's a good delivery. We can get there from the rebound. It's Ibra having a shot. And it's a good save again, I think, by the keeper. Although for us, it's a good position for a free kick, potentially. And we'll give this one to Ibra. Try and power this one. 41 yards out. It's going to be a good effort. And we've hit the post and we've been taken down in the box and that's going to be a penalty. And that's just really, really poor by Hamez McCarthy. Shouldn't have taken me down there. It's a really, really cynical challenge. It will be Ibra's regen stepping up for this one. Can we score the first goal of the game? Hopefully we can. I didn't even go down the middle there. Why, Why was that saved? I aimed it to the left and he just went down the middle oh honestly i hate this game sometimes and the story from that first half really is what could have been what could have been a goal what could have been a one nil lead for us but that penalty was really poorly taken by me if we end up losing that game because of that missed penalty i'm going to be pretty disappointed because so far it's been really really hard to create chances in this second half now valentini up here to tevez and here goes Tevez running through, really causing the defence a few troubles. And it's a great save again by the Everton keeper. Again, it's forward here to Ibra. He's done really well to cut inside. We've got to go for a long shot because there's nothing else on. And it's fallen for Ronaldo. He's still got a chance. And it's back to Ibra again. A brilliant save by the keeper. Really good double save there. And there's the 90 minutes up, which I do believe means we're going into extra time in this game. And that's a bit disappointing because we have played well in this game. But the keeper for Everton has been on fire. You look at that. Everton haven't even had a single chance in the game. Everton are bringing on the new Liverpool centre-back Joel Matip. Which is a bit interesting. But we're bringing on Messi's regen. And also Robben's regen. And hopefully they can make an impact in this extra time. And into the second half of extra time we go. It's been a really dead first half of extra time. And if we're not going to go to penalties. We need to score soon. And there you have it. We are going to be going to penalties. And I'm pretty gutted because if Everton win this game with literally one shot they've had in the whole game, I will be pretty disappointed. That penalty miss really did cost me because we are going to penalties now and it's really going to be anyone's game. But it will be Anthony Martial stepping up for the first penalty of this one. We're going to say he's going to stay down the middle. We're going to stay down the middle. He goes top right and that's a really good penalty. Now Ibra's regen's going to have a crack. Second go at a penalty and he does score this one this time. The Everton player's stepping up for this one. I'm going to say top right again. He chips it down the middle. Wow. 
Done me dirty there. Ronaldo's regen, not the best penalty really, but we still managed to score it. Luckily, the keeper did dive this time. And Kie, where is this ginger guy going? We're going to say down the middle. And he does go down the middle and we do end up saving the penalty. And now it's advantage to us. It's going to be Yaya's regen with the penalty. Let's go top left. And it's a really good penalty again. And the Everton player's got a bit of pressure on him. Can he score this one? No, he misses. It's off the top of the bar and it's going to be an opportunity for us to win the game now. If we score this penalty with Robben's regen, we're going through to the FA Cup final. And we do end up doing just that. We're going through to the FA Cup final. And it's Robben's regen that wins it for us on penalties. I would have been tremendously gutted had we have lost on penalties to Everton. Because they really didn't deserve anything in the game. They didn't deserve to go to extra time. We deserved to win it. But luckily my stupidity by missing that penalty in standard time didn't cost me the win in this game. But it will be time for some player training. And from this session we do see that Goldborn does go up to an 81. And he's almost catching up with Lucci to be honest. He's grown very nicely. We do now have a game against Newcastle in the Premier League. But since we're not really prioritising the Premier League at the moment. We're going to be simming this game. Newcastle are currently sitting mid-table anyway. So even if I was prioritising the Premier League. I still would have simmed this game. We are going with a pretty strong lineup for this game. I could have rested a few players, but I do believe that they have good stamina, most of them, so it doesn't really matter. And we end up drawing this game 2 2, so not a great result. We do now have a very important game, though, and it will be against FC Barcelona in the semi finals of the Champions League. This will be the first leg of the tie at the Camp Nou, and it will be interesting to see if we can get an away goal because that will really help us in this tie. The only change that we're making for for this game at the Camp Nou away from home is we're putting Messi at centre forward. Coming up against his former team as his regen, it will be interesting to see if he can get on the score sheet. This will be the biggest game that we're playing in this series to date. And instead of playing either Arsenal or Atletico Madrid, we have to face up against Barcelona. And I think it's going to be a bit of a struggle in this game. Barcelona certainly have quite an interesting team. They've got Jerome Boateng still playing at the back for them. And they've also got David De Gea in goal, which is also quite interesting. And at the ripe old age of 38, can Luis Suarez do anything in this game to help Barcelona in his final season? And Serge Gnabry, the former Arsenal midfielder, trying to cut inside. And he will go for goal as well. And he does end up scoring the first goal of the game nine minutes in. And that's just really, really poor defending by me. I should have covered the man a lot better, but I didn't do that. And Serge Gnabry with a bit of burst of pace inside. And it's a really lethal shot to find the back of the net. Ibra's done fantastically well to get inside the box. And what a save by De Gea. My God. How do you save that shot? We need a good runner if it's possible. And that's decent enough. Not a great ball though. Messi's going to keep the ball in. And can he score against his former club? He's not going to score. But we do get a penalty. And please God. Make sure I don't mess this up. I messed up the last penalty, but it's going to be Ronaldo taking this one this time. Yep. Okay, two penalties in a row. You've got to be kidding me. I just don't get it. Why can I not score penalties? I put it right into the top left corner, and he still manages to save it. He still knows exactly where I'm going. If we can't even score a penalty in that situation, how on earth are we going to beat De Gea? He's just making some crazy saves. We need a runner or something. We've played it forward for Ribéry, and again... De Gea makes the most crazy save at the near post to keep it out. No, he's out of the game. My best player up front is now injured and out of the game. We stand no chance. We are completely screwed now. Tevez, it's a brilliant ball over the top. And it's here to Ribéry. Please score. Oh my God. It's, it's over. That's it. I can't score. That was literally inches away from crossing the line. And it's still cleared away somehow. Oh my. This game just makes me really, really angry sometimes. We end up getting a 1-0 loss in this game against Barcelona. We've got our best player injured. Probably out for the rest of the season. With a terrible, terrible injury by the looks of things. If this game at the Camp Nou is anything like the next game against Barcelona in the second leg. We're going to really struggle to score and even go through to the next round. And as expected, we've got an injury update for Ibra's regen. He's going to be out for two months. And that's pretty much him ruled out for the rest 
rest of the season. Before we go into what will probably be the final game of this season against Barcelona, we will take a little look at a quick squad report. Cedric Costil is up to an 83 overall and almost all of his physical stats are in the dark greens now. So not really too much growth for this month unfortunately but now we're going to be going into potentially the final game of this season and it will be against Barcelona in the second leg of the Champions League. I'm pretty disappointed about the way that we played in that first game. We definitely should have got an away goal and that could harm us in our chances of going through to the next round. The team that we're going with is a little bit different from normal because obviously we do have the injury to Ibra's regen which is a massive blow. Hopefully this side is going to be good enough for us to create a comeback in this tie but I don't really see it happening especially if we play anything like we did in the first leg. Oh no, we've lost it in a bad position. Good save by Lucci and they almost score from the rebound. It will be a free kick now to Barcelona in a good position. Don't know who's going to take this one. It's going to be Neymar with the shot and it's a good save by Buffon's regen. But we do now go into the second half, very desperately needing to get a goal back in this game. Otherwise, we're going to get knocked out in the Champions League. We're really missing the prowess of Ibra's regen, but we can still get a goal. It's not over yet. It's going to be Ronaldo's regen cutting inside. And we can go all the way here and have a shot. It's just dragged wide though. How desperately unlucky is that? We needed that to go in. Well, there we have it. It's not really the best way to end off this season of this career mode. But we do end up losing in the Champions League. 1-0 on aggregate. We couldn't get the goal that we needed at the bowling ground. And we do end up getting knocked out. But fair play to Barcelona because they really were difficult to break down. And when we did have the chances, we just weren't able to convert them. It's sad to see that we're knocked out, but hopefully Barcelona do us proud and go on and win it. Because I don't really want to see Arsenal or Atletico Madrid win it. After a disappointing exit in the Champions League, getting knocked out to Barcelona 1-0 on aggregate. I'm hoping that we can go ahead and try and win some silverware in this game. It's pretty disappointing that we've been knocked out by Barcelona in the Champions League. But we still have an opportunity to win some silverware in this game. We are going to be going into this game against Manchester City in the FA Cup final. And this will be the last game of this season. I think we just got a bit unlucky with the way we performed in the Barcelona game. So I'm just going to be going with an unchanged lineup for this one. Looking at Man City's lineup, they're going to be going with pretty much the same side that we played against them in the last game. They've got Insigne starting at the cam position. They've got Patrick Roberts, the young midfielder. And they've also got a back line of Mangala and Sula. It's Tevez inside here to Ribéry, who's going to go all the way inside and try and cut back in. We need a bit of space opening up. And there we go, we found it. Here with Tevez having a shot. And he does score the first goal of the game and it's a fantastic finish. Sometimes it's just about being patient, but a lot of the time you will get intercepted in that position. But luckily, we've got Tevez who's filling in for the void of Ibra's regen and he's certainly doing him justice there. Well, we've got a bit of space now. They've dragged their centre-backs a bit too far forward and Messi's going to make it 2-0. And in the space of 10 minutes, we've scored two goals. And that could be game over for Man City. Certainly the characteristics you do expect from Mangala pushing forward like that. And just allowing Messi to stay on side with a bit of space. And it's a really good finish by Messi's regen. What? A penalty? Are you serious? Wow. Okay, so the ref wants Man City an easy way back into the game. What does he do? He gives a penalty. Sterling is diving like hell there, Jesus. There are, that, that is no way a penalty, or maybe it is, but, but he just made the most of it, I think. I definitely do think Sterling made the most of that one. It's going to be Boga taking this one now, though. We're going to try and dive the right way. We do end up diving the right way, but Boga does score. It's 2-1 in this game, and they've got a chance of getting back into things. Valentini with a great touch, and now it's here to Tevez, who's going to run at the defenders and have a shot. And what a goal that is to make it 3-1. A perfect response after an undeserved penalty was given against us. Well, that's certainly an interesting high-scoring first half. Really poor defensively, though, from Man City. And the fact of the matter is they're going to try and push a few players forward to try and get back into the game. And that will leave us a bit of space on the counter-attack to hopefully extend our lead. And there we have it. We do end up winning the FA Cup in really good fashion with all the Argentines in the team getting on the score sheet. We end up winning the final 3-1 against Manchester City, and after our heartbreak against Barcelona, I'm just relieved more than anything that we've won this game. We've won the Community Shield with this team, we've won the Premier League, 
And now we've won the FA Cup with this team, which is a really good achievement. It's not quite the Champions League, but I'm still happy nonetheless that we've won the FA Cup because it's another bit of silverware under our belt this season. But this will be the end of this episode of Season 1 of this career mode. And if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see a second season of this career mode, whether that be accelerated or normal style, then make sure you show your support by leaving a like on the video. If we can get this video to over 70 likes, then I will do a second season of this career mode. Although it's most likely going to be an accelerated form of career mode where we're only going to be simming to the end of the season and then playing the big games. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something that does interest you. But apart from that, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there. And I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.